Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. Gonna do a taste test on the neighbor's coffee. No, not my neighbor's. This is the name of the company and their last name, so. <coughs> Excuse me. So, here is the last process of my, my smelling, you know, adventure um, is after it's brewed. <clears throat> Man, that smells good. Okay, so chocolate fudge. Let's see. Yes, Irish cream. Yes, <clears throat> hazelnut. Yes, amaretto. A mm, little bit. It's kind of hidden in there by the other ones. <clears throat> and French vanilla cream. It's there a little bit as well. It's kind of hidden also by the other. <coughs> <coughs> All right. So let's check it out. Nice color. Looks like a medium roast. I don't know what this this one here is. <coughs> Sorry for all the coughing. I don't edit hardly ever, so unfortunately that kind of stuff stays in. Yeah, it smells really good. All right, let's check it out. Oh my goodness sakes. <clears throat> wow. Man, is that good. <clears throat> it's rare to find a coffee that <clears throat> has the flavors showing through that they say is, that they say you're going to taste. So. It's so good. <clears throat> Got a nice caramelization to it. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Get the hazelnut a bit. <clears throat> You get the <clears throat> amaretto a little bit. Irish, cr Irish cream a little bit. <clears throat> the French vanilla cream, let's see. It's there a little bit, it's kind of on the aftertaste. Now the chocolate fudge. <clears throat> It's there a little bit, <clears throat> kind of on the, kind of on the middle of the drink. Um, when you take a drink, you kind of get it after the initial part. Um, <clears throat> but the overall flavor, it just, it's blended really well um, together and it's very, flavorful very enjoyable cup of coffee wow that is so good <clears throat> um i usually add creamers um to to my coffees <clears throat> um for two reasons um when i'm reviewing it I add it to show people that use creamers what it's like. Um, but when I'm not reviewing, I add creamers because kind of how I enjoy enjoy my coffees. <clears throat> I don't add a 
big, big amount. I just added just a little significant amount. Um, but um, this here, if you're a regular creamer user, you don't need any creamer with this one. Um, this is just good, just like this. My goodness. That is so good. Okay, so <clears throat> if you do, if you do like add like milk or like, um, um, <clears throat> Uh, cream. I forgot what it's called. Some kind of cream. Anyway, <clears throat> if you like a lac, <clears throat> if you like a lactose kind of taste to your coffee, you could add a little cream creamer. It's just what I got. It's just powdered coffee mate. You don't need to add very much, okay? So you don't want to you don't want to mess with the flavors of this coming out of here. You just want to add just a little bit of a lactose kind of taste to what a, what flavors are already there. So There you go. That went well. Went well with it. Nice little lactose taste to it. <clears throat> yeah. Really good. Really good. Um, <clears throat> so if you just can't keep from adding a, a sweet, a sweetener, a sweet, a sweetened creamer. <clears throat> add this caramel macchiato. I'm just, I'm not going to add very much. And I suggest that you don't either. Because it already is almost sweet. I mean, with the flavors that are coming out of it. Just a little bit. <clears throat> Sometimes it does... Depending on what you're putting in there, it pairs well with the already flavor that's in there. So it could benefit you in that way. If you have to have the creamer in there. Excuse me. All right. Let's see what that did. That brought the French vanilla out a little better, a little bit more. <clears throat> and I think the hazelnut too. I mean, it, it's caramel macchiato. Why would it take, bring out those two cut those two flavors more? I don't know, but sometimes those things do that. Yeah, yeah, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't mess the coffee flavors up. You still get them along with a little bit extra. So, very good. Very good. <clears throat> I want to try this. I'd like to try this um, as a third re third review in my uh, my single cup uh, K-cup machine. And uh, <clears throat> put it in my little, yeah, single serve capsule and um, brew it brew it that way and just kind of see how it turns out I, I I don't know I don't have a whole lot of faith in those those single serve things um, I just don't know if it's getting like if the if the hot water is getting through and hitting all the grounds enough to bring the full flavor of what you should be getting so I used my my regular coffee machine to do to do this i just put filled my cup up with some water that i'm going to use poured it into into the machine and put my little filter put in as much coffee that i want to use and then brewed it through there like that and it worked worked good so 
Okay, <clears throat> well, I'm going to end it there. Um, I advise you all to go to the uh, Neighbors Coffee site. They're a company out of Oklahoma City. They're one of the um, Made in Oklahoma Coalition uh, members, and um, they've been doing it since 1972. So they have a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge in what they're doing. So, um, yeah, go check them out. they got a bunch of different flavors in there. Um, give them a try. Their phone number is 1-800-299-9016 if you want to call and ask them anything. But uh, <clears throat> there you go. All right. Well, I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks to Neighbors Coffee Company for sending me these. Um, and I'm already started enjoying them. They're really good. It's a really good quality coffee for sure. So, yeah. All right. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye.